Hello! In this video, we're going to discuss bias by placement. We'll talk about how the role of editors and sensationalism can lead to this type of bias. Bias by placement happens when stories that are important for our daily lives don't receive important placement in media messages. It can also happen when unimportant stories get important placement in media messages. Remember, important placement means that something is at the top of a page or at the beginning of a video or radio broadcast. First, let's talk about the role of editors. Remember that an editor is a person who makes changes to a media message so that it's appropriate for a target audience. They also decide which messages come first, second, and so on. Because they decide which stories are featured at the beginning of a video or at the top of a page, editors basically tell us how important a story is. For example, if a newspaper editor thinks that a story about the weather is important, then that story will be on the front page. Everyone will see this story. The placement of the weather story on the front page tells everyone, hey, this story is really important. And if the editor thinks that a different story, let's say about job growth, is unimportant, then that story will be on the last page, and most people won't see it. Even if they do turn to the last page for the story, they will probably think that it's not a very important story. In this way, editors can easily influence people's opinions about the news. This situation can lead to bias because editors might make choices about the importance of a story based on their personal points of view or their personal opinions, and you or I might not make the same choices. In other words, you might not agree with the editors about which stories are really important for your daily life or society in general. The second type of bias by placement that we're going to discuss comes from consuming news as entertainment. Another word for this is sensationalism. Sensationalism means using news media messages to entertain people instead of informing them about events that are important to their daily lives. Let's see an example of how this situation can lead to bias. Imagine that a famous actor from your country is arrested by the police because she was driving too fast. The next day, when you turn on your radio, you hear about this person's arrest. When you turn on the television news, you immediately see more information. You learn what kind of car she was driving, how fast she was going. On the front page of a newspaper, you learn about the other people in the car. Stories about this event are trending or becoming popular very quickly on social media, so you learn even more when you check Twitter and Facebook. The placement of this story in different types of media tells us that it's a very important story. But if we stop for a moment and ask ourselves, is this story important for my daily life? We might say no. In fact, this story probably has important placement in media only because it is entertaining and not because it will give us important information about our daily lives. This is an example of sensationalism and bias by placement because people might pay attention to this story instead of other stories that are really more important for our daily lives, such as political news, economic news, or health news. Later in this unit, we'll talk about how to use media literacy skills to deal with bias by placement. So, we've talked about two possible sources of bias by placement the role of editors, and sensationalism. Later in the unit, we'll talk about how you can use media literacy skills to deal with these types of bias. Next, we're going to talk about the connotation and denotation of words.